welcome to Tales of Honor Podcast, a podcast dedicated to telling the true stories of the Congressional Medal of Honor. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Tales of Honor Podcast. I'm your host, Christoph Ambrose. That's me. You know, I wish I had like a really, really deep announcer's voice once in a while, like... Like I was stepping into the Royal Rumble or something like that. But otherwise, I'm just coming to you from my little studio, which is a closet in my house. <laughs> and today's episode is episode 72, going back to Vietnam again. And it's being brought to you by the good people over at Combat Flip Flops. I'm not going to lie, one of the most comfortable pair of flip flops I have ever purchased has been from Combat Flip Flops. And I know some some people have said to me, wow, you, you paid that much for a set of flip-flops, right? Well, I did it knowing a couple things. I Well, I, I knew that by purchasing them, I knew that my funds would go toward helping educate Afghan women and girls. I, I also knew that some of the, the money would go toward helping remove unexploded landmines and ordinances in Laos. And I also knew that some of my money would go toward helping uh, support the members and families of the special operations community. Um, sometimes it's it's not about... Uh, doing something for yourself, but doing something for others. And Combat Flip Flops is definitely doing that. They're they're helping flip the view on how wars are won. Business, not bullets. So head on over to CombatFlipFlops.com and uh, just keep all of what they're doing in mind when you're looking at buying some great products that they have, the Flip Flops, the Afghan war rugs, the jewelry, everything. Go ahead and do that. And now, a tale of honor. Ed W. Freeman was born on the 20th of November, 1927, in Neely, Mississippi, and was the sixth of nine children. He grew up in McLean, and as young as 13 years old, knew he wanted to be a soldier when he would watch troop maneuvers pass by his home. Before graduating from high school, Ed served in the U.S. Navy for two years and returned home after World War II and graduated from high school. He then joined the U.S. Army immediately after and was part of the Corps of Engineers. By the time the Korean War started, Ed had reached the rank of first sergeant and his company deployed to Korea as infantry. Ed received a battlefield commission after participating in the Battle of Porkchop Hill in 1953. He was one of only 14 survivors out of the 257 men that made it through the beginning of the battle. General James Van Fleet, a man regarded by President Truman as one of the greatest generals we have ever had, personally pinned Ed's new lieutenant rank on him, and at that point... Ed took command of B Company and led them back up Porkchop Hill. This new rank of Ed's now made him eligible to become a pilot, something he had wanted to do since he was a child. At that time, though, there was a height restriction for pilots, and when he applied for pilot training, he was told that, at 6 feet 4 inches, he was too tall for this duty. This phrase conveniently became Ed's nickname for the rest of his career, And in 1955, the restriction was lifted, and he was accepted into flying school. Ed went from first flying airplanes to helicopters, and then went on to flying mapping missions after the Korean War. When the time came for Ed to deploy to Vietnam in 1965, he had become a very experienced pilot, and was second in command of his 16 aircraft unit. He had reached the rank of captain at this point in Company A of the 229th Assault Helicopter Battalion, 1st Cavalry Division, Air Mobile. It was Ed's actions on the 14th of November as the wingman of Major Bruce Crandall that would earn him the Medal of Honor. The citation reads, Captain Ed W. Freeman, the United States Army, distinguished himself by numerous acts of conspicuous gallantry and extraordinary intrepidity on 14 November 1965 while serving with Company A, 229th Assault Helicopter Battalion, 1st Cavalry Division, Air Mobile. As a flight leader and second-in-command of a 16-helicopter lift unit, he supported a heavily engaged American Infantry Battalion at Landing Zone X-Ray in the Ia Drang Valley, Republic of Vietnam. The unit was almost out of ammunition after taking some of the heaviest casualties of the war, fighting off a relentless attack from a highly motivated, heavily armed enemy force. When the infantry commander closed the helicopter landing zone due to intense direct enemy fire, Captain Freeman risked his own life by flying his unarmed helicopter through a gauntlet of enemy fire time after time, delivering critically needed ammunition, water, and medical supplies to the besieged battalion. 
His flights had a direct impact on the battle's outcome by providing the engaged units with timely supplies of ammunition critical to their survival, without which they would almost surely have gone down with much greater loss of life. After medical evacuation, helicopters refused to fly into the area due to intense enemy fire. Captain Freeman flew 14 separate rescue missions, providing the life-saving evacuation of an estimated 30 seriously wounded soldiers, some of whom would not have survived had he not acted. All flights were made into a small emergency landing zone within 100 to 200 meters of the defensive perimeter where heavily committed units were perilously holding off the attacking elements. Captain Freeman's selfless acts of great valor, extraordinary perseverance, and intrepidity were far above and beyond the call of duty or mission and set a superb example of leadership and courage for all of his peers. Captain Freeman's extraordinary heroism and devotion to duty are in keeping with the highest traditions of military service and reflect great credit upon himself, his unit, and the United States Army. Ed was promoted to major and was designated as a master army aviator and returned home from Vietnam in 1966. He retired from the army a year later and was nominated for the Medal of Honor for his actions, but at the time, there was a two-year time limit for nominations to be submitted, and his nomination was not within that window. He was instead awarded the Distinguished Flying Cross, and the Medal of Honor nomination was disregarded until 1995, when that two-year window was removed. Ed then received the Medal of Honor from President Bush in a ceremony in the East Room of the White House on the 16th of July, 2001. Prior to the ceremony, Ed had moved and settled in Idaho with his wife Barbara, and he continued to work as a pilot, flying helicopters for another 20 years with tasks such as fighting wildfires, conducting animal censuses, and herding wild horses for the Department of the Interior. He retired in 1991, and at that point, had 17,000 flight hours in helicopters and 22,000 hours in flight overall. In 2001, the movie We Were Soldiers, which depicted the Battle of Iadrang, included Mark McCracken, who portrayed Ed. In Ed's hometown of McLean, the post office was renamed the Major Ed W. Freeman Post Office in March of 2009. Ed W. Too Tall Freeman died from complications from Parkinson's disease, on the 20th of August, 2008, and was buried with full military honors in the Idaho State Veterans Cemetery in Boise. Section 12, Row J, Site 155. And that was a tale of honor. Thank you so much for listening to Tales of Honor podcast. I really do appreciate it. I can't say thank you enough. I know it sounds like I'm reading a canned phrase, which I do have some stuff written down, but I really do mean thank you it means a lot to me to to know that there are people listening to this week after week episode after episode and i really do appreciate it and from the bottom of my heart i do mean thank you and i really would like you to share this with everyone you know that might have an interest in it or even if they don't have an interest in it let them decide um just be sure to leave a nice review and a good rating and, and like i said tell everybody that you know you can see more information on Facebook, Instagram, and at talesofhonorpodcast.com. If you have any questions or comments, you can send them to talesofhonorpodcast at gmail.com. And until next time, I'm Christoph Ambrose. Thanks for listening.